thing and we worn it in three public places, right? And we put it on the website and emailed interested parties, right? So we can go ahead and this, um, we have two items on the agenda for tonight. Um, and one is the um, open the bids and award for sidewalk and fire hydrant snow removal. Did we get a bid? No. Mm -hmm. No. All right. Then that's, we weren't going to do that one because we don't have anything to open. Um, Julie, so. Julie said that the, uh, one of the bidders had a computer issue. Computer issue. All so right. Well, I know we should all right. Did we get it? We didn't get any other bids, no. so we might want to grant an ex extension to this. I so can you do it? We can do that, right? Yeah. I mean, we don't have anyone else choice we have. whine about it. Right. So. Oh, were you saying? I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear everything. You, did, you didn't get something. We didn't get a bid. We got communication that there was some okay. um, technical problems with this. Um, the computer that was going to be used, I suppose, and so we're hoping to um, receive a offer in the future. So technical problems along with the Not computer of the bidder. Yes, mm -hmm. correct. Yes, Potential bidder. as okay. far as I understand, that's what I just learned right now. Thank you. Hot off the press. So um, <laughs> then we'll move on to adopting the class four highway which is basically our road policy it, it includes all the roads and and also class four so is there people had requested time to look at that at the last meeting a week ago and so we posted it and i believe we emailed it harlan did you get one yeah i got one you got one good so is there any i had one i got one from earlier right? yeah one. all right good so do we have any discussion about that Yes. Uh, I'm Dan Ward. I live up on uh, Sawmill Hill. Yep. Yep. Uh, new to the town, so apologize for the mm -hmm. kind of uh, hopefully just doing it correctly. So uh, we, Lizzie and I, um, went and got, we looked at the Vermont um, League of Cities and Towns document, mm -hmm. which I think is what y'all referenced last week um, as the boilerplate. Mm -hmm. And then also kind of looked at the um, VSA 302A4. Mm -hmm. um, and just came up with some suggestions um, that we, we noticed one thing that was missing in, in the proposal that you guys are putting forward, which is uh, we don't see public interest uh, in there. And that's riddled throughout um, both documents uh, that, you know, that we read over. And so what I'd like to do, just I've got four suggestions. I've got them written down here. You want me to just read them or give them to you? Or sure. You? Okay. Sure. So under section number one, and the purpose of the program, Revise the second sentence to state the purpose of this policy is to protect the public investment in the town highway system and to protect public interest, including preservation of the town's environment and natural resources, as well as defining the standards by which Class 4 highways will be protected, maintained, improved, and classified. Essentially adding public interest and environment into uh, that section because, you know, as we talked about last week, environment, I think, is something that we're going to have to start doing individually as towns. Um, with the way the administration has been kind of rolling things back. And I think a lot of people, like including ourselves, we came here because of, of the environment here and the way people care about it and, and it has been we. So that's one. Um, under number three, um, under control. Um, and this is allowed under the 19 VSA 302A is prohibiting or restricting use of motorized vehicles. And under number six, uh, private improvements of class four highways. So revise section C to read, the select board may approve, approve conditions or deny an improvement permit following a period of public notice or opportunity for public comment and questions. So that, that's just for the that should be there. And then lastly, under section seven, private winter maintenance of class four highways, uh, revise the same as section six requiring a public notice. So that's the four suggestions that Lizzie and I read and thought made sense based on the Vermont League of Cities and Towns document as well as the uh, Vermont statues and the so. Do you want to run that? Uh, I've, got, I've got it written here if you want me to. Sure. Disregard my chicken scratch. Bob. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
be careful about this. Well, yeah, it's not something yeah. that we're going to just no, there's no up way and, um, up and incorporate these things without um, yeah, you know, checking that they're um, appropriate and, and, and proper. There, there, yeah. I referenced the uh, VSA code yeah. in there as yeah. well as the. the Really, the public interest thing is. is well, the, yeah, the, that's actually was a thought mentioned in there that the um, for public good is one of the one of the aspects in terms of our our main job in maintaining the roads and stuff is in, in protecting the public um, public assets and the interest of it. Right, the public so can be also the landowners on the on the road, of course. Mm -hmm. That's the public. Well, I, I mean that. Public good is that's what's been you know removed from the boilerplate essentially from the Vermont cities. Uh, the, what do you call it? The VS? Not the city. The city the well, this is the <laughs> recommendation that we, um, I think it was not so much from the VLCT but from the, uh, um, the statutes themselves. I think that was, uh, we got this was prepared by the town legal council, not just taking it from the VLCT boilerplate. Um, so, so that said, um, what do you guys, so what's your, but under what's your pleasure? But VSA 320A, it says Vermont law allows class four highways may be maintained to the extent required by the necessity of the town, comma, the public good, comma, and the convenience of the inhabitants of the town. Yep. Yep. Right. That's a pretty standard yep. standard stuff. Standard yep. clause that's um yeah. And that's what I'm recommending. We'll look forward this and review it. Mm. Yeah, I guess we've got um we'll have to just, you know, take your suggestions into account if you okay. would like them seriously considered and put this off till okay. next week then I guess. Four of them, right? Four yeah, just, uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. You're going to table a few of his um, I suppose so to to honor his his request. Does Thanks. anybody else There's have more. anything they want to say? Well, well, there's more. Form that you posted for us what was suggested by the town attorney? Yes. Section 8, repeal. We have a previously adopted policy to be repealed? I don't believe so. Should be on there. Yeah. Well, that's, but it's, no, that, no, but that, that can be on there because in the future, if things are modified, then it would be repealing this one. So that's, so it's not inappropriate to have that this in there. referring to previous. Right, but we're setting a policy that is going to go on into the future. So if we referred to this policy five years from now, then it would be good to have that. Um, next question. Right. Okay, next question. Um, Do you intend to repeal some sections of the town plan, which are called policy on the transportation? Uh, no. What are no, you thinking of? Sure, what this is saying here. So one doesn't quite match up with the other. Under the town plan transportation policy for a certain statements. They may not be consistent with this, but perhaps more review by the town attorney. Do you have um, samples of those statements? Well, not quite, about? because what's on the website is the proposed form from 2018. That's mm -hmm. not the completed town policy, which means are we still under 2013? I suppose until the new one is adopted. Well, I'm yes. Fortunately, 2013 is not on a website. No. Oh, so those are so questions about. So you're just saying, so I'm is saying it is possible? We should make sure that the policy, transportation policy, and the town plan does not contradict something. Not that there's anything wrong with this, but it may contradict something. So you didn't find something that it contradicted. Not you're just saying it's possible that it contradicts something because you couldn't find it. All right. Because it wasn't available to find. What did you, did you, um, it just means a little more due did, diligence on part of our attorney before you guys sign something that counters something else that we already have. And maybe what you Which he may have done, at, we don't know. You should maybe you actually look at the proposed 2018, which is, I guess, like our final stages. How, how do you know it counters something? 
Pardon? How do you know a counter is something? I'm not saying it does. I'm saying you need to review. If you're talking about repealing policy, old policy, in the mm -hmm. town plan, the word policy. Mm -hmm. So class four road policy also exists in the town plan. What you have here is a class four road policy. Mm -hmm. You also have one in the town plan. Wait, did you, so you just said that you didn't find one in the town plan, did you? You just said that you didn't find one in the town plan because you couldn't find the town plan. that it countered it. I don't have the current town plan. Just the attorney should make sure you don't have another reason to come back to the table with this thing after you sign it. Any other suggestions about what you'd like us to review? No. All right. Just trying to save us all sitting here doing all over. Right. Well, actually, that's what we're going to do. Um, Harlan, how about you? You got any any input you know, on I this? I think a little more public input into some of this policy stuff is a good idea. I know along with everything that we said. You know. Okay. I think there should be more input. I mean, you guys work for us. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Just remember that as we go through all this stuff. Anybody else? All right. Um, then I guess we will revisit this topic at the next select board meeting. All right. Thank you. Next Sunday night at six fifteen.